two economics professors, one from Wellesley, the other from the University of Maryland. And their work is published today in the National Bureau of Economic Research. And here's a quote from the paper. This is, what, this is part of what they found. Quote, we find that 16 and pregnant led to more searches and tweets regarding birth control and abortion and ultimately le led to a 5.7% reduction in teen births in the 18 months following its introduction. The show began, if you have not been watching, began back in 2009. So joining me now, one of the study's authors, economics professor Philip Levine from Wellesley College and Brian Stelter, our senior media correspondent. So gentlemen, welcome to both of you. Thank you. Professor, Thank you. first to you. I mean, this is, this had our, our whole team talking today. So, so you, um, you looked at trends, <laughs> you looked at tweets. How can you conclude that a TV show caused a reduction in teen births? Uh, well, we do a couple of things in our analysis. As you, as you mentioned, we, t we look at uh, searches and tweets uh, to see what people are looking for uh, online, you know, exactly the, the days that the show is on, and you see these spikes in activity that look like people are searching for things like, how do I get birth control, tweeting about uh, birth control being, 16 and pregnant being the best form of contraception, uh, that's part of our analysis, but then we go on to look at uh, you know, actual birth data. We, you know, we have the universe of uh, all the births that occurred in the United States uh, over the past several years, and we look to see whether the places in which 16 and pregnant was more popular on the basis of uh, Nielsen ratings are the exact same places in which we see larger declines in teen childbearing, and that's exactly what we see. Wow. So you're looking at all this data, geographic data, as you're pointing out. Did you get it down to how many pregnancies were prevented? Do you have an estimation there? Uh, I think that the, the relevant estimate there is, is approximately 20,000 teen births per year uh, are not occurring because of the existence of 16 and pregnant. Professor, I'm coming back to you, but Brian Stelter, this show is still on the air. 16 and pregnant, is it still? How, how, how well does it do ratings-wise? You know, it can be among the most popular shows on MTV when new episodes are on. And I, I find this study so fascinating because MTV has surmised this and suggested this has been the case for years, but now there's scientific data to actually back it up using things like Nielsen ratings and tweets to try to prove it. You know, this is a show that MTV puts out there and says, this is evidence that we're doing good for teens. But, you know, I saw a conservative blog, Hot Air, today point out if there's science behind positive things MTV does, I'm sure there's ways to do science to show negative influences of television programming as well. This is a nice example where there's a positive outcome from television, though.